Welcome back to another episode what of the Black Brewers Podcast. What up, what up, what What's up? going on, y'all? Rise and grind. Chilling, man, chilling. Glad to be back. It's been, I feel like it's been a little bit of time. We, we skipped a couple weeks. Yeah, man. We just getting over the holiday season. And uh, how was everybody's holiday? Uh, my mom and them was all hanging out over at my brother's crib. Um, I got to kind of got to stay away from him right now. So me and Vicky went to Manny's. We had our choice of lobster. I think it was a damn 20 ounce lobster. We had some steaks, some, uh, some lamb chops. It was good. It was good. It was beautiful. Oh, y'all was balling on Thanksgiving. Yeah, oh, yeah. Hey, 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 huh? hey, when that check mm. came, you know, <laughs> stars, stars started spinning. I started spinning out of my seat. Looking like Mr. Krabs. <laughs> <laughs> Not, and you know, you know, I came prepared, but you yeah. know, it's still it's a little sticker shock. Yeah, yeah man, man, man by no means is cheap. Also, no, I didn't even. And, and Vicky held me down too, so it wasn't even on me. I was just, you know, I was a, a the the sugar mama right there. She she was holding me down. So how about you, Phil? It was a full house. House was full of a bunch of family members I ain't seen in a while. You know, shout out to my cousins, my little cousins, man. It's so cool seeing them get older and growing up. I got my cousin Dre. Got a tattoo on his neck now. Got his own trucking situation going on. So once he gets out of high school, he already finna be a business owner. So shout out to that man. Go ahead, good job, my cousin, uh, 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 little man out here handling business in school, tackling okay. cats, knocking heads off in football. But also, I told him like, you know, maybe you want to uh, look into engineering or something because I know you like cars and stuff. You know, let's 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 slide out that CTE way. You know what I'm saying? So maybe oh, yeah. you should think about that. He's pretty. He's really smart, so he's able and capable. So I encourage him to do that. And then my uh, cousin Marquise, and you know, just seeing him with his little daughter that looked just like him. So you cannot go on more contesting anything. <laughs> look just like you. She looked just like she you. looked just like you, cuz. Uh, and then the rest of my family. And then my girlfriend was in town from London, so she came in. She got with the real family. And uh, uh, she met my Uncle Bobby. We kicked it with her. We had lunch with my grandma. And then my mom just went ahead and just murdered dinner. Like, she just obliterated what needed to be done in Thanksgiving. And the food was just, you know, uh, it blasted my tongue into a braided knot. And it was just all great. Shona loved it. She had mac and cheese and all that. Uh, she was trying to get me to eat chitlins with her because my auntie, Car- <sighs> my auntie uh, uh, Benita makes chitlins. No, no. I was like, don't bring that over. My mom don't do chitlins. I don't do chitlins. We not doing that. I'm, I'm eating nice. I'm eating Facts. smoked turkey. Juicy brined smoked turkey and hearty mac and cheese and things of that nature. <laughs> Big you know, we're, we're, I'm moving like that with, with delicious uh, uh, sweet potatoes with two different varieties of sweet potatoes. My mom got down and greens that wasn't cooked that night that was made the night before and you know marinated in coagulation, all that type of stuff. So it was really great, man. Work. Girl was in town. Hell yeah, uh, family was in town. We kicked it. We got together. We loved on each other. It was a positive, healthy experience. Beautiful time. Beautiful time. Facts. That's Anthony, how was uh, how was everything over there with you uh, with you and the fam? It was cool, man. I hosted for the first time. Uh, okay. okay, I cooked. My mom was in town. It's always funny when you're in the kitchen with your moms. You ever been in the kitchen cooking mm. with your moms? I don't. You I know, stay. I know, stay out of that paint. No, so she good. tells you to get out the way. She, my mom well, is like Shaquille O'Neal in the paint, bro. I, I, there's <laughs> nothing you can do. You just better stay my mom out the way. Is just a dictator in the kitchen. <laughs> she will tell you she cooked. So she, I did a turkey and I did a chicken. And uh, I did peach cobbler. I did mashed potatoes. Okay, okay. So my mom did the greens. She did dressing. She did uh, mac and cheese. Uh, I'm missing something else. But I cooked in the morning. We supposed to serve at 2. So I cook in the morning. She's running around doing mom stuff with, with grandkids. And I'm like, Mom, you know, you need to put your food on. It's like maybe 11. She's like, I'm going to be there. So she gets there around 1. Oh, I need your help. Oh, so man. we go in the kitchen. Me, my best friend, and my mom. She telling everybody what to do. We cooking the food, <laughs> but she cooking. Let her tell it. Like, mom, what do you need? Uh, what do you what do you need in this? Oh, just put some of this in there and make sure you stir it. Or tell me to stir it so I can stir it. <laughs> what? Mother. <laughs> just do it. Hey. <laughs> it's, it was crazy. But it was fun, man. We had a good time. We we didn't eat actually till around 5 36. You know, after saying one, Anthony, I have a question two. for you. In a typical black household, what does Thanksgiving usually start at? Hey, man, Oof. I was going by the time she gave the family. No, 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 no. I'm just asking. Just, just like, is it? It's is, all, is it? Is it's it all always. Day, right? It's always CP time. You but it's know. all day though. That's why it starts at two. I mean, generally, like when I do a big whole family thing, usually we. We got everything done by around like two, three. Mm-hmm. But if you, you know, it's kind of like you said, it's an all day thing. You kind of just go yeah. up. You can grab a little bit here, a little but, bit there. But, but we eating from done. two to eight. 
You we said done. done. <laughs> Ours wasn't done till five. Woof. Because of her. Man, that's I love, love you, mom. Yeah, yeah. shouts out, shouts I'm out. I'm not cooking <laughs> with you again in the kitchen. <laughs> shouts out, time, man. <laughs> shouts out, Phil, mom, too, because it sounded like Miss Owens was killing me. Get busy, man. I invited you over for lasagna one time, bro. You really missed out that day, man. Hey, you know, my mom made that lasagna and she went ahead and put the whole foot in there. You know what it is in the streets when you we try need to have a mom around, cook off. You know, man, I tried to invite hey, you to my mother's hey, house. I don't just be inviting anybody to my mom's house. I didn't say you invite your mom. No, 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 no. Your mom make a dish. We all bring it to somebody and people try it and say who's the best. I'm nah, bro. I'm not off. trying to. I don't want to have to have that smoke with y'all, bro. Yeah, cause yeah, y'all gonna be y'all gonna, feel, y'all gonna be feeling bad. Y'all and, childhood gonna look. And bad. then after that, we get all our dads decide. together and they they can box. Anyway, let's move off. Let's move off. Yeah, for real. But um, yeah. Up next though, we got a lot of cool things coming up as far as the podcast go. Uh, podcast goes. Uh, we got the Winter Dabbler will probably be the first festival of the season that Definitely. we partake Dabbler. in. Uh, looking forward to that. Not looking forward to freezing my. We gonna my, pray for my, warm, 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 <laughs> a very mild winter dab. Yeah, so you know, Real mild. if you guys were there last year, you know it was a good time. If you got to see us in person, shouts out to you. You Definitely probably will see time. us again this year. And uh, yeah, we can't wait. When oh, is the winter dab this year? Do we know? It's like February twenty fourth, twenty fifth, twenty fifth. Yeah, okay. I thought it was earlier in February. No, no. Oh, okay. The end. Yeah, I think it used to be, but then I think they they kind of pushed it back because it was there was a couple years where everything was just freezing and people were just having a bad time. So you know, I mean, lines well. froze last year. Yeah, no, la- la- lines were fr- freezing last year. People had to bring their kegs into lines the tents and all that the stuff. Last few so years, yeah, but uh, no, it'll be a good time. And then uh, uh, on top of that, we got a little little secret. We can't really talk too much about it, but we got a, a little secret. beer beer situation coming out, a little batch coming out, and yeah, we look forward to that. No, that's all good though. It's gonna be it's gonna be a good time. It'll be the first time that we've all gotten together and actually been a part of the brewing process. Yeah. We've all done that ourselves, like separately, but it'll be the first time that all of us together will be doing it. So that'll be a good time. You know, definitely, definitely, definitely. Good time. What are you, you know? drinking on? Uh, right now, I'm drinking on Olafonts. It's a uh, cherry cola sour. I don't know if you guys can see this, but the graphics are kind of cool on there. Olafon always does a really good job with their uh, with their artwork. Santa's um, looking pressed. Santa's definitely too. looking a little pressed on the on the on the front of there. He's looking looking a little pressed. Um, but the beer itself is good, man. Uh, I was a little bit worried that I was gonna have too much of that like cola, like syrupy kind of mm. flavor. It's mainly cherry, so, yeah. so yeah. I'm, I'm definitely shot. happy with I'm it. I'm not tasting too much pre-diabetes in this one, but it's a good sour balance with the sweet, so I'm happy with it. You got, yeah. you know, got the cherry in there dancing around. Shouts out Olafon, too, I man. I was presently surprised really? by it because, you know, I'm not too big of a sour guy. I taste it, and it tastes like cherry cola. Yeah. With a little, with, with a splash of sourness. Okay. I, I, really I like it. I like it a lot, you know. It's one of those beers that I think I could I could do like one or two, and then the sweetness might start getting me, but, but I do like it. <laughs> Mm. I'm over here drinking this Stargazer from uh, Bauhaus. Man, a Star Stargazer. Stargazer, excuse me. Stargazer. But yeah, it's a German style black lager, and it's amazing. Yeah, it's probably my favorite beer at Bauhaus. Was, so I it's... love Schwartz beers, and this is this is amazing. They changed their their branding, right? Uh, slightly. Because I don't yeah, remember. It used, their it used can. to be super Bauhausy. Yeah, like, yeah. Is, was... I believe this out the Winter Pack though. Gotcha. Um, okay. So I think this is why this is of this style, but I know. Yeah, but I know they don't make Star Grazer year round anymore. I like Star Grazer. That's that one's, that one's fine. Uh, Switch to a seasonal beer, and then they put a few new beers on, like Lounge Wizard and whatnot. And hey, man, the Bar House makes good beer, man. They they got they some do. of my favorite beer. They're consistent. Like that Wonder stuff is a one. They make Star Grazer, Bomb Lounge Wizard, super yep. good. Yep. It's a, it's a uh, dry hop pale ale, if I'm correct. I always like their uh, Schwartz beer too. Like the Oktoberfest, the darker Schwartz one, the Mars. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. They make Schwan-tober a darker, Fest. yeah, Schwantoberfest. Yeah. That's the name of it. Yep. That yeah, one's man. that one's fire as well. Yeah, good times at Bauhaus, man, for real. And they and they got the best barbecue in the summers. Ooh, Animali's no uh, joke. Animali is probably, I mean, at least top three in the in the region. So let's yeah. be real, man. You, you, when you say you mean the city, because if you're talking about I, the, Apples, the man, region, you have a hard like time. Saint like Paul I, and, I don't know who else gonna come up to them. Oh, I, I don't know. Like MM Barbecue used to be right over there with them, because I had some of the best brisket I've ever laid my mouth on at MM Barbecue. Okay. But they closed. So when you say, when, when, yeah, you you might be right. When when, you, when it comes to the region of you know uh, what South Dakota, North Dakota, uh, Minnesota, Iowa. I'm just saying Wisconsin. Twin Cities and surrounding suburbs. I, that's, 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 real big. Yeah, yeah. That's what I, when you say region, that's what I hear. But when you're talking, if anything in the state of Minnesota, they got to be one. Think so? No smoking the pit. The shouts out smoking smoke, the pit smoke, too. 
Animosity is number one, but yeah, you start getting smoking the pit. That's when you start talking top three, and top five to me. Yeah, okay. You feel okay. me? Because yeah, smoking the fair. pit, they, they, you know, they've been around. They've been in the game. They, them Boy, chicken man. wings looking like they done got passed through the smoke veil, and then you, the bones barely there. It's like they coagulated and melted into the meat. That's it's your so word good. for the day. It is coagulation, guys. Coagulation. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's kind of a weird word. You could even say coalesce as a variation mm. of the word if you wanted to. However, smoking a pit, great wings. They are bomb they catfish. Animals is not doing not catfish. a catfish fan. Uh, oh, you don't up, like catfish? I grew up eating no. catfish, man. I did too. All right, not a catfish man. Fan. Hey, that's fan. fine though. You don't you like know, the like fishiness, or is it just? It's been too long. I've had it too much. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I feel that though. Sometimes you can burn yourself out and be like, you yeah, had to eat it a whole lot. You know, it's cheap. Yeah. I, get it, I got I get you. It, man. Yeah, I feel you. I feel that. We all have those foods. Yeah, I can go without that for the rest of my life. Oh, it's one of them situations. Yeah, that's like sloppy that's Joe's okay, no, for me, respect. bro. Exactly. Respect. Everybody got their, uh, yeah. I call it their struggle food. They don't want to ever eat again. I get you. <laughs> hey, well, 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 I understand, man. Okay, so we used to eat, uh, it was rice, milk, and uh, with butter and sugar. But I would still eat that again. Okay, yeah, that's you know, that's decent. It's been a while. I, I I didn't think it was a struggle meal though. It wasn't like it was ever like oh we this all we got. But that's what I like to eat. And um, uh, because my, my parents showed it to me. But I remember one of her uh, family friends' house, and I told him like, yeah, you know it's real good. Rice, milk, sugar, and some butter. And you warm it up in the uh, 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 microwave. And she's like, honey, you shouldn't talk about that. Like it's good. That's that's a. Uh, that's struggle food. That's struggle. That's what that's I'm a, that's, a, that's the homie in the county man. eating right now. Man, he he, he trying to Hooking wait for the, the, ramen. For the microwave because well, he like, can't warm up them honey buns. <laughs> yeah, the, got the ramen with yeah. all the toppings. The big dog took the. Oh, that's when you man. know you know somebody you know was locked up. They'd be like, man, you know I want them ramens, and then I give you twenty five toppings to put on them. Like mm-hmm. you, you done seen some things. Yeah, yeah for real. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, you start you start pulling other things out. You, you might start do boy or two. <laughs> No, nah, but for real, man, that's, that's that's a real thing out there. You know, can't can't ten clown too much because there's definitely motherfuckers out here eating that shit yeah, right true, this true. second. There's people out here eating it, but I'm yeah. sure they would love to clown about it too. So, hey, true. real quick though, shouts out one of the one food that I have only eaten once that is loved by my Jamaican homies. Shouts out all my Jamaican people out there. But when I was living in Brooklyn, my guy gave me a sweet bread with like government cheese like just a block of government cheese you get some sweet bread bro and what they do is they just smear it in there like a like a sandwich type style it's fire but it's definitely one of those things where you just like high in sodium well you just like bro i should i shouldn't be eating this like especially not all the time like going back to like the chitlins type of thing it's like Mm -hmm. yo that's like real like down bottom like struggling 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 food but you know do what you got to do out here, but yeah. Yeah, make it happen, man. Government yourself. cheese spread was a little different for me. But just, Damn. you know, make sure you're drinking enough water to flush out that sodium. Once Damn. again, hypertension. Government cheese don't make the best grilled cheese, though. I ain't going to front. <laughs> I'm old enough to remember about that. We doing, we doing brie and apple over yeah, here. We I doing, mean, not, huh, no, you know, I've changed my... Havarti, you know, my, 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 uh, cheddar. <laughs> mm. <laughs> just off with the aged cheddar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like my cheddar aged minimum of 12 months. No, my my, mm-hmm. uh, my 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 bracket has changed, so I can afford good cheeses. It's I hear that. It's I feel that all elevation. the way. And your kids should never have to see what age cheeses or uh, government cheeses either. Nah, my kids have never so seen. They, it, so they, I, I know I had it. Like, yeah, that's yeah, good. Like, I don't that's think good. government cheese was around by the time I was born, though. To be honest, man, with you. I think government cheese still around. Yeah, you just gotta go to the the way way back of the cheese section, past all the everything. Is it's it a little Dove gray package. <laughs> Gray, gray package. aluminum package. That's it. Yeah, if your cheese ain't even a color, man, that's a. If your pack ain't packaged, then you should be able to see the cheese. When you scoop <laughs> it up, and that's from the devil. I hope it's not ghost cheese. I hope it's a color. Hey, I, right. <laughs> Speaking of ghost cheese, shout out to ghost pepper cheese. Hey, uh, you ever had that before, man? Yeah, um, over at Certix, they got a nice go, uh, they, ghost oh, pepper cheese. Yeah, Certix, uh, they do. The yeah. had it was been at the place in St. Paul. I'm, I'm blanking on the name right now, but very good cheese, ghost pepper cheese. I don't just, do hot, so. Really don't do hot, huh? Is it because of is it a good thing or is it just because you're just not ready uh, for it? Okay, that's fair. I understand some people kept do hot because ulcers and stuff and things of that nature. Yeah. That's excusable. I used to do it. But hot's good for you. You know, there's a study that was out that says people who eat spicy foods tend to live longer and have a higher sex drive. Uh, I eat spicy for most of my life. Yeah. So I, Shout I out that second yeah. part. So just, you know, fun fact for you today. You know, go ahead, put that, put a pepper in your food, man. Especially if you ain't got no dietary restrictions to not do so. Stop being scared. Go ahead and build up that tolerance. Yeah, do, get the, get the spice going. It's good for you. It really is. Opens up your pores and your uh, nasal pathways. Pathways. What's that? Uh, sinuses. There you go. Opens up them sinuses too. So you know, eat a pepper, put it in your food. Get a little spicy. 
Hey, stop being scared. Speaking of spicy, I want to switch gears a little bit and go on in a little bit of the upcoming shows that we got going on. And, and mm-hmm. right prior to recording, I, I guess I had a little bit of a spicy take. Spicy. But Atlanta Zone, JID, who just had arguably album of the year type of type of he's in that conversation but he'll be here march 24th at the fillmore um going back to the spice i don't really like dude's album that much like it's the first half of it solid second half flimsy <laughs> I, I want you to feel that i want people to know the energy in this room is uh disappointed i don't even know he's who he is Greg. Be totally honest. see see don't even know who he, he ain't is. came across my radar. Mm. I, King's you, Disease just, Three. You don't need to know who he is to understand that he's great. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about even about you. Oh, okay, I know. Right. I know what kind of lane you. It's not. I'm not even worried about that. Greg tried to bring up. Don't even know. Who, no, I don't want to hear that. Stop that, bro. Yeah, I, I just the first stuff. half of the album is great. Great lyrics. Great production. You know the imagery is there. Second half of the album is a whole. Mm, and See, I'm, 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 <laughs> this is why things are subjective because I'm wondering what you know what Greg thinks is corny is actually dope a lot of the time. He doesn't like Absol, so and Absol got a new album coming out called Herbert coming out December 16th. Hey, Herbert is week. that I'm his name? Herbert, excited. that's his name, man. Yeah, Greg, people have names like that. Fifty Cent's name is fucking Curtis. That's cool, man. So. Hey, there's nothing wrong with his name, bro. I'm just saying, bro. Absol is whack. And when I see him, we got a problem. This is why music is subjective. And this is why he likes Tiger more than ass. So, Greg Wright, listen to Tiger. I didn't, I, nah, hold on. Now you taking yeah, me out yeah, of context. Greg want to make it nasty and shake his ass. You taking, you taking, hey, Rack City better than anything that Absol yeah, ever put out. Point, yeah, he wish. Come he on. Wish. Anyway. Come on. Up you next, though, we do. We got uh, Ice Cube coming to Mystic Lake. Now that's uh, January 26th <laughs> and the 27th. It will be fire. It will be lit. I don't know who he's bringing. He's got probably some special guests coming with him. Um... But yeah, he'll be at Mystic. I might try to go out to that, but I don't know. Sometimes those Mystic shows is like you gotta drive all the way out there, and if you don't get a hotel, then it's like, damn. You go, and get then you might run into unhealed versions of Anthony. Hey, hey, say say more on yeah, that. Throw me under the bus, fam. <laughs> I said unhealed versions. You're the healed version. Oh, okay. You get what I'm saying? No. See, if there was a multiverse and there was an unhealed version of you, oh, you understand? It. But it's just a bunch of them out the Ice Cube show. <laughs> What y'all youngest know about Ice Cube? What you do even doing here? Oh, I ain't want to ask about it. Man, get here. out the way, young blood. I'm in the front. Trying to elbow. <laughs> That's never me, though. I, 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 can't be in the I said unhealed. Yeah, true. You feel me? True. I don't like hey. being in the front, man. I can't take too much noise. Big shouts out, Ice Cube. But then finally, we got Baby and Tron. Big three. February 9th Oh yeah And the big three Cause yeah. uh, that's definitely Bringing yeah. some opportunities And uh, Warner Bros bro Stop acting silly With the Friday movies bro hey. Let my man get Let my man get that back bro So that's we can it. So we can move forward Get that final Friday And, and just call it a, a, a series I have a question though um, Would you even want The final Friday My man John Witherspoon Has passed Yeah I mean So many people From the original cast Are, are gone yeah, unfortunately uh, But uh, you know uh, Debo The gentleman Debo I, I wish I knew his real name I apologize yeah. Tiny Lester Is yeah. uh, Tiny Debo Lester. But you know um, what's funny is here, once again back to the sodium it was because of hypertension dude was in good shape hypertension but, but then he also got covid and didn't want to do nothing about it he's one of them dudes that was like nah this this shit ain't real type of shit like i'm not wearing no mask i'm not getting no vax or whatever I'm whatever saying, however you feel on that been good but, had he had a better internal health well, probably would have been good if he would have been wearing a mask well speaking of being good how is everybody's mental health I think we're doing good. I'm doing good person. Yeah. You know, I'm on the, uh, uh, you know, not everything's going my way, but that just gives me motivation to break, make things so. You know what I mean? You just got to manifest it and, and you really just got to debo that shit sometimes. Sometimes you got to go ahead and grab that shit by the neck and just make it happen and bend it to your will. You know, you can't always be passive letting shit, you know, just, oh, well, sometimes you got to go ahead and just, you know, like, no, we're doing it this way. And so that's what I'm learning and we're working through it. And I, I actually like this. It's growing. your will says no to you? Does your will have consent? Because my will, my will is me, and me is the will. So my will have consent. At the end of the day, you know, shit's good. But I'm I'm with Phil kind of like it's like, you know, things could always be better. Um it's like a time of uh in my opinion, it's like a time of change type of thing mm-hmm. in multiple facets of my life. And so, yeah, you know, in the day-to-day realm of things, like great man, I'm still smiling out here, I'm still alive, I'm still breathing. Uh, I still got my health, I got uh, my family, I got my my lady. You know, I got Definitely. a job. You know, yeah. still still out here surviving. So, in in the grand scheme of things, doing great. You know, but in the in the scheme of where where you want to be, 
on the way. That's what's up. That's on what's the, up. on the way for sure. Nah, man, I can't, I can't complain personally either. Uh, a couple of years ago, I used to get really down at this time of year and just be really just in my own head. But last couple of years has been great. Just being around family more. That's what I like about the holidays. Being around family more, you get to it bring your spirit up and you get to lift them up. So family's a good thing. And, you know, we're in the holiday season still. So I uh, implore everybody, see your family, check in on your people. Call in, check in, FaceTime, you know, show them you love them. Yeah, no, I mean, I feel that. I feel that. I did want to say because you 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 jumped into the 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 health check. But I had one more oh, concert. Yes, talk, and we not skipping Detroit. <laughs> Shouts out Detroit, my boy. Indeed. Not my boy. I don't even actually know this cat, but I feel like I do. Baby Tron, February 9th, Fine Line, Detroit in the motherfucking. Oh, he in Fine Line. I yep. love that venue. East Side Stand Up. You know what I mean? Um, seven Mile, Six Mile, what's up? But Baby Tron will be here with a bunch of his crew. Shitty boys, all that. Speaking of, uh, should Detroit, be a good time. Man, Babyface Ray just dropped his new album. Shouts out, Face Man, and he was just on the Breakfast Club. He was, it was good. and he was just on the Breakfast Club for the first time for uh, Ye or Ye Lee's last, last thing. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, so yeah, that, that was crazy. lit. And shouts yeah, out, Babyface Ray, man, because he really came from like just chilling, grinding, grinding. Because he's been rapping for like 10, 10 been years, and yeah. he's finally getting his due. Yeah, that's, that's always a good so. thing to see for well, sure. Also, shout out to Ellie Dollar too, because you know he came on his new album too, and that was that's. I have not listened hey, to that. I'm glad yeah. that you pointed out. I might have to listen to that bro, when we go. Man, he just can't, bro. Dude just dropped three, three projects and like, no, nah, he's. I think he might still have one for December because he dropped this one. He said one in October, EP, still running that back. One in November, November 25th, 9th is when he dropped it. Things a whole juicy boy, 19 tracks, so it's great. And then he's got one in December coming out. I love Ellie Dollar and his deals brand. Um, so he, yeah, it's a great way to just ride out. He's out of Houston, right? He's out of Houston. Okay. Yeah, he's out of Houston. Okay, oh, word. I'm about to check him out. Dude, you would like him, man. He's good, mellow tune, good, good, just, you know, good sitting the fuck down and just, you know, motivating music and valuing yourself type stuff, so. All right, so, uh, yeah, what do we got next coming up, man? Because I know that we've all been kind of busy with the holidays and with our own little things going on, whether it's work, whether it's family, all sorts of different things, you know, hobbies, whatnot. Um what do y'all got coming up next? Because I know the next couple of weeks, next couple of months about to be packed with, with different things. Mm-hmm. But what y'all excited about that's coming up? I'm excited. Uh, my birthday is coming up in January. So hey. I'm just going to throw it out there. I'm excited. I'm not going to really do nothing crazy this year because uh, I'm excited to do a half birthdays. You know, uh, my birthday is January 5th. Huh. And I'm okay. not paying New Year's prices to be out of town and okay. hotel. But uh, maybe going on a cruise also in March uh, down the Caribbean. So looking forward to that. Uh, and CBC coming, you know, looking forward to that. In May. It's a Nashville CBC, year, right? yeah. yeah. Nashville. Some Ooh. good chicken out there, I heard. Hot chicken. Gladie yeah. Mays, Gladie Mays down there. Yeah, I heard some good chicken out there. Shout out to Rick DeDoria, too. Hey, man, I want to go out there. I've never, well, my mom is from Memphis. I've been to Memphis, but I've never been to Nashville. Mm. So it'd be cool to go down there and see. See the stacks, you know, Watts, Zim, and all that type of stuff. Yeah, a lot of history down in Nashville. Um, I've only been once. Kind of a boring town as far as, you know, other things going on. But if you like music and if you like good food, you'll be at home. I don't see what's boring yeah. about music or good food. I'm just saying in the, it's no L.A. or no New York. Or I you know, I mean, that's all that's all I was. It really depends. Saying. I think it depends on how you travel, too, because if you travel like Anthony Bourdain, I tend to like to travel like him where you travel for the food and the uh, uh, local cuisine and uh, experience, you know, not necessarily for like the, you know, flashy things like L.A. tends to be known for. I could be listening to mediocre music and that fo- and if the food's bombed, then the music would be great. There you go. You know what I mean? There you go. I wish you on that. So I, I feel it. What about you? Oh, yeah. Myself, man, just getting more yoga classes in there, man. Just getting more teaching going. I recently just taught uh, at a high school for a wellness day. Uh, what's the school called? Like, uh, it's, uh, I forget what the school called. But I taught, I taught some, high school, some high school boys, the, uh, uh, the basketball team. I taught them. So it was cool. And it was, it, most of them were really receptive to it. Some were acting too cool, but, but the ones, I think the ones that, that's actually dunking, they was going for it. So yeah. I had them doing handstands and I had them doing some boat poses and some down dogs. And, you know, we, we had them in positions of twisting up and they, they, they really in some, you know, Johnny Panayama with the deep breathing. And so we, 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 uh, uh, 
we, we had them noticing things about their body. It was cool nice. to see them like, oh, man, I could cross my legs way better now. Yeah. After like, or uh, after, I had, after I had them, you know, breathing and then I had them, you know, get into a seated position for meditation. I had them meditating. It was great. It was beautiful. It was cool to see the receptiveness to it. Um, it was cool to see, like, there was a good amount of them that were real, like, engaged and interested. That was a positive experience. That, I, that made, that's really fulfilling. It's cool. So I just give them tools to use in their arsenal for life because, you know, as a black man, you need tools to decompress, to be de-stressed, Definitely. to manage your emotions and all of that and you know and if you're in high school it's hard to do that you don't even know you might not even have the tools or the wherewithal to know how to do that so yeah. that's dope so i'm looking forward to doing more yoga i'm trying to by this time Word. next year i want my whole life to just be mostly just a big old bowl of yoga pudding just serving out and doing classes and that's kind of what I, that's kind of what i would like as far as like you know on the day-to-day more yoga as each month progresses is that's my dope. goal for this you're speaking of what is your goal you guys have any goals that you guys want to hit on for like the you know 20 is coming up soon um it's you know about to be a whole new year man you know what about you guys what's looking like for you yeah, my goal for next year is to kind of take this situation to the next level yeah um you know whether that means traveling more whether that means actually being you know present at big events like the you know cbc or going to more festivals that are a little bit further out of like just you know minnesota you know maybe travel chicago or do something like that because there's a bunch of cool ones all around yeah Mm -hmm. um that's that's really a big goal for me um i set it kind of high on the list of priorities um another good goal for me is is get back right like totally with like the family unit situation that i got kind of going on uh kind of you know get past that and begin, uh, begin the healing process that's important um but then yeah besides that man just keep pushing on keep pushing on just stay safe out here man because all sorts of crazy bullshits be happening left and right you you know you could just be living your life one day and it could just you know mm-hmm. some some crazy could happen so i'm just trying to you know stay out the paint get this you know to the next level and then you know keep moving on just trying to stay healthy out here yeah definitely agree with uh doing more with the pod uh just Doing more things, like you said, getting out, seeing seeing things outside of Minnesota. Um, also trying to start my business, you know. Had a setback with a couple of things, but, you know, new year brings new energy, uh, new purpose. And, you know, I'm just going to I'm going to manifest a bunch of things this new year. So that's those are the big two, two biggest things. And also uh, more cellaring. I'm starting to seller over at Arbiter. So I'm trying cool. to get back there more. That's what's up, man. Or, you know, get back there. want to. Want to do a homebrew with y'all, you know, still got oh, that yeah. grandfather, haven't done a brewing it yet, shout out to BSG, but uh, I want to do, I want to do more of those too in the mix of doing the bigger shows, we can do some smaller stuff, you know, I've, I've always said, you know, we should do a homebrew, we got people, we can do it, you know, we should just iron out, and mm-hmm. knock it out, yeah. yeah, if we have the time. Big facts, man. Yeah, uh, I'd say I definitely align with just like elevating our uh, podcast and just continuing to push forward and create more and stay consistent and you know stretch out our uh, our reach and grasp and yeah just kind of just continue to do yeah do more enterprise more with this and also enterprise with myself as well definitely and to just grow in my practice and continue to just refine and, and stack up bucks because that's that's the financial security is something. Something to be said about that. They say money don't make you happy, but, you know, when you got money to do what you need to do and move around how you need to move around on a rainy day, like Spitter said, uh, money money ain't everything, but it sure does make that road a lot smoother like shocks and struts. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's facts. That's facts. So we trying facts. to just, you know, cake up a little bit in a, in a, a safe way, in a, a secure way, less so just to not to spend it, but more so to, you know, grow it and, yeah, security. Facts. Facts. Do you, uh, Phil, do you have any more of those classes for uh, the young men at high school? Uh, not at the moment. We don't have anything quite lined up yet, but uh, I'll be. Uh, I'll come when I have a good set spot with a set schedule. I'll definitely report back and list off the information for that where we can definitely. get at me. I'm definitely trying to get some classes in at breweries and whatnot. So you know, you know, we'll see what talking about Arbiter and you know a few other places. I, w- I would like to you know teach some classes at. That's I'd love to do that. So it's it's fun. I, I love doing it. It feels good. Uh, I love 
also doing yoga too so that also feels great i'm looking forward to this class on tomorrow because they finally fixed a thermostat at the, the studio <laughs> that i'm at Damn, i got my up. i got my boy jamal to come up in there you know he's the electrician so i had him swing in there if y'all need an electrician hit up jamal mcnutt okay get at me um yeah he fixed the thermostat so the room actually gets to over 100 degrees now what was the last name mcnutt okay yeah, <laughs> bro, get up out of here. Hey, man, leave hey, my man's alone, I just had man. to run that back That is for time. me. That is for me only to tease him about. My fault, okay? my fault, my fault, Mr. McNutt. <laughs> I love you, bro, man. He asked, man. I just answered, okay? You just threw that man whole government out That's there. my best friend, man. Leave him alone. He gonna come back He's to a like, good, he a good that dude. That's my whole government, though. He, he a good dude. He ain't on that time, man. No, so, he, yeah, we, he ain't really, you know, he ain't got to worry about all that, man. He pays his taxes and stuff like that. He got, a, he got a son, too. Uh... Uh, Shout out to black dads Yeah for real Hey Beautiful wife Beautiful son You know Solid unit I met him his son For the first time Just the other day So He's just beautiful Brown skin Gorgeous hair Just cute kid Look like him too Yeah Shout out to him man But That's 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 what we doing On next year man That's what, that's what next year Growth expansion Enterprising yeah. Security Let's go Yeah yeah, abundance. Hell yeah, I'm about to be abundance. traveling a little bit too, so you know you might see international oh, yeah. Greg at the passport on the way. I never That's been right. out the country, so we about to about to see what's popping out there in Spain. Neither have I, so I'm I'm looking forward to that. Oh yeah, do you have your passport, sir? I'm actually in the works of getting it. All right, my guy. Hey, we are yeah. gonna, we finna get our passports. Yeah. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. I'm trying to go everywhere. Hey, for real. Let's black people, black men, black people need to travel. Period. Oh, yeah. oh, period. Yeah. We get you, mom. Come on, move around, man. Do like the Moors used to do, man. Sell the seven seas, teach dirty people how to take baths. Yeah. It's true. It's true. It's true. Shout out to the Moors. Yo. Hey, Europeans, y'all need to thank the Moors. For real. Y'all used to do yearly baths. And that's where the term don't throw the baby out with the bath water came from. Because, yeah, you think about it. They, they took a yearly bath in June, which is usually when the wedding season is, right? And the oldest child would get the privilege of having the first bath, right? And they would wash them in the same bath. So by the time it got down to the youngest baby, that you, you can't imagine after not bathing for a whole year that the bath is going to be clean, clear. <laughs> it's, it's going to be dark. It is going to be dirty. <laughs> that water is not clean. So by the time the baby got in there, the, the water was black. So they say don't throw the baby out with the bath water. Because you can't see the baby. you can't in see the, the damn oh, baby in the dirt. Oh, bro. That's crazy. That's why uh, the bouquet flower things in the wedding, it's not because the bouquet is beautiful. It's because she stank. <laughs> all right man hey I'm, I'm not this is this is fact look it up all right bro look it up I we feel like them, but it's true I and then the moors came rabbit hole <laughs> and then the moors came yeah. and they said hey fam why don't you do this uh you know at least a couple times a week every day do it every day but you know a lot of them decide to just do it that's why cologne exists that's why perfume exists is because motherfuckers stank back then from oh, the shit, lion's you know. mouth yeah, straight up. Facts. I didn't know you. True though, the more story, man. God bless the more. Did man. give up Spain history, Spain, no. Europe. Well, it started. In Spain. It did start in Spain. Yeah. Most of that architecture in Spain now is more. I mean, that's why you see the, yeah. the black crest, mm -hmm. you know, the black Moors and all yeah. those type of things. Yep. You know, so they ran them know, out, but they history. sure preserved that architecture. Oh yeah, <laughs> and some of them old families still have them, them black crests. Yeah. Ain't changed them. No. Yep. Yeah. You can't tell them they black though. No, you can't. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Even though that's their family crest. This is my crest. My, these is my great people. That look like a... Uh, he black. No, he's not. He's a Spanish. The picture shows it. Oh, anyway. Okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah well we appreciate everybody we love y'all it's always good to get back together with the hell guys. Yeah. yeah you know yeah, yeah, uh definitely. thank you for watching and spending time with us and just taking time out your day to observe our observings and oh, yeah. how we feel about them so you know big shouts out to the dabbler depot also yes. for allowing us to use their space Master much shout. love uh you can probably see us at a couple of their events next year so get ready um all these yeah big shouts out to on-site media yes. mm -hmm. always holding us down over there Make sure you go check out uh, the link below. You can uh, help support us. You can help support other people that are uh, uh, like-minded. And uh, yeah, yeah. Also, all these beers you can find at the Dabbler Depot. That you all see of them. Here. All of them. They have all a great them. selection. This is my sexy voice I'm using for them because mm. they are sexy. Mm. It is a sexy place, though. The donut outside looks really good on a cold oh, yeah. day. Oh, yeah. And shouts out Oliphant, too. Definitely. Big shouts out to Olafon for providing us some yeah. beers today. They, they also have beers. coffee available. Mm -hmm. THC, mm. Celsius, mm. anything your heart desires. Suck it. Not anything. Everything. Everything. Okay. 
Definitely though, yeah. So yeah, check them out, man. That wraps and, up uh, another episode. Yes, it does. I love you, brothers, man. But I don't ever tell y'all, man. I love y'all. Love I y'all love too, you too, bro. For real. Yeah. And with that, Johnny, we out. Peace. Peace.